Here are five creative yet simple title effects that you can do inside of Premiere Pro. Let's jump on in. So our first effect is this grungy title animation. And by the way, it was made with just one layer and I'll show you how. So in Premiere Pro, let's pick the ellipse tool and create a circle. Press V to go back to the selection tool and hold control or command while moving the circle to snap it to the center. Now we can go to effect controls and let's expand the shape. And here we want to keyframe the scale parameter to make the circle scale up. And I'll also make it scale back down to zero at the end. Also make sure that you're keyframing under the shape parameter right here. So that way the animation will only affect the circle. I'll explain this further a little later on. For now, let's go to effects and let's search for the turbulent displace effect and apply it. And from effect controls, we wanna make sure to add it above before our shape layer. So under this effect, what we can do is increase the amount and complexity to the point where the circle is just totally, you know, messed up. What we need now is our text. So with the graphic clip selected in our timeline, press Control or Command T on a Mac to enable the type tool. And then you can start writing your text. And as you can see here, the text automatically gets added to the graphic clip. And now for all of this to make sense, we need to go to the properties panel. And if you don't see it, you can enable it under this window drop down menu. And if you're using a previous version, by the way, it was called essential graphics before and now it's properties. I know it's a little confusing, but it is what it is. So here we are, and you'll see that the list of layers we have are in this one clip. We're going to select our text layer and if we scroll down, there's an option called mask with text. And this is really cool. When we press it, the text layer is now being masked by the layers below, but we're not done yet, right? We're going to make this animation look more interesting. Let's select the shape layer here and let's copy and paste it to duplicate the shape. And then let's move it to the bottom. So nothing is happening yet, but what we need to do is apply a Gaussian blur. And now we need to add this before our duplicated shape layer. And in effect controls, let's bump up the blurriness amount and we'll start to see another shape layer appear under our main one. And we can change the color of the second shape layer here so we can see it better. And here we go. And just remember that a lot of these text effects that we make here are created with trial and error by experimenting with these different effects. So if you're feeling overwhelmed watching this and like, well, how did they know how to use all these effects? It's just from playing around. And honestly, that's what art is. Am I right? Next up, we're doing a spotlight effect that uses the same track mat technique to create this type of text that we did in After Effects, but this time we're gonna be using Premiere Pro using just one layer. Okay, so here I have a text layer ready to go. Let's also animate it to slowly scale up, but this time I'll keyframe under vector motion. And when I add any other elements to this graphic clip, it will also get scaled up because the vector basically affects everything inside of that one graphic design. So the key here is to find stock footage or videos that you film that have the same background color. So you can use that footage to reveal the text. So for me, I'm going to stick with the black background here and then I'm gonna open up Motion Arrays extension to quickly search for some stock footage. I think that this bursting particle one should work. So let's download it. And instead of adding it to the timeline, what we can do is go to the properties tab and with our graphic clip selected, we can drop our video right below our text layer here. So now we need to scale down the video just a little bit and then we can select the text layer and tick the mask with text. And here's the result. A little water break. So now that you understand how the setup works, Let's have a little bit more fun, shall we? So we'll start over with just a text layer again. And I've got this footage of a spotlight shining through some smoke. So let's drop it under our text layer again. And before we do the mask with text part, first let's animate the footage. So go back to effect controls and expand our clip layer. And first of all, let's move the anchor point to the light source on the left. Then we can keyframe the rotation and animate the spotlight to look up and down as if 
the light was searching for my text. So I'll also select these keyframes. Let's right click on one of them and select Auto Bezier to smoothen out the animation. Bezier, Bezier, I think it's French, not my forte. Now we can finally go to the properties panel and on the text layer, let's click mask with text. This looks good, but we got a problem. This part of the text that isn't in the light is still visible. And that's because the footage that I'm using right now has more of a grayish background, but I need it to be completely black, but it's a simple fix. What you need to do is add the Lumetri color effect here above the footage and inside it, I'll adjust the curves here to turn the dark gray background black. We're pretty much done now, but we can make it even cooler by going to the timeline. Let's hold alt or option on a Mac and click and drag the graphic clip up to duplicate it. On our duplicated clip, we're going to go to the properties here and I want to disable the fill and enable stroke. So we only get the outline of the text. And then in our case, I want to make it as thin as possible, right? So in Lumetri Color, let's bump up the white values so the text outline is more visible. On the stock footage layer itself, let's move the position a bit to the left. So that way the outline has a quicker fall off on the right. And that way it's also brighter towards the left near the light source. And this is how it looks. For the third title effect, I'm going to be using Mogerts. And basically Mogerts are pre-made motion graphics templates that are customizable. So that way you don't have to spend countless hours creating complex animations like this one. And a great place to find high quality motion graphics templates is Motion Array, who is the sponsor of this video. So instead of looking through their website, I'm actually going to use their extension in Premiere Pro to find what I'm looking for. So I like this template here. It's a nice blend between 2D graphic and 3D animation. So once it's downloaded, it will instantly show up in the graphics templates panel, ready for me to drag and drop into my timeline. And if you get this error about missing fonts, don't worry, you can go to this folder where the Mogurt is stored. And here you'll find links to download these fonts that were used by the original designer. Or if you want to use your own fonts, of course, you can just go to the properties panel and here you can customize it to any font that you like. So we can change the text, the font, the colors, and we can move each element around and make it our own. And no need to worry about how to animate because it's all done for you. Being subscribed to Motion Array means that you get unlimited downloads, not only to their video templates, but also high quality stock footage, LUTs, sound effects, their new AI voice generator, and access to plugins with tons of effects for your preferred video editing software and much more. And once you use one of their assets and download it, the license is covered on all platforms. So you don't have to worry about copyright issues in the future. If any of this sounds good to you, you can use my link below to sign up for an annual plan and you'll get two extra months free. Thanks so much to Motion Array for sponsoring this video. And now let's get into the next text effect. Premiere Pro doesn't have a native 3D workspace like After Effects. So we're going to have to fake it. Let me show you. In Premiere, let's write out one letter. Let's press the center align button here and make sure it's in the middle. Now we can add an effect called basic 3D. And this will let us rotate the letter like it's a 3D object. I'll add some keyframes on the swivel here so that way we can get the spinning animation. Let's also add another keyframe between these two to create a bit of kind of an overshoot animation. And of course, don't forget to smoothen out the keyframes. And the reason why the letter is center aligned here is because the basic 3D effect will only rotate from the center. So if the letter is off to the side, then the rotation kind of looks off. Down in the timeline, let's duplicate the graphic clip and I'll change this letter to A. Let's do it again for L. So now we have all the letters in separate clips forming the word gal. On the bottom clip, let's go to effect controls and scroll down to the motion tab. Here I can move my letter to the left without messing up the 3D spin. I'll also move the last letter here to the right. And in the timeline, let's move up the top two clips to the right. So each letter will pop up one by one. And here's the result. 
And as a final touch, we can add the drop shadow effect and keyframe it to show up at the end. So that way we can, you know, add a little bit to this fake 3D effect, even though it's not really 3D. It's just a design. So now on to this glass text effect. Now, if you're an Apple user, you may have seen this new liquid glass design and there's mixed opinions on this new design, right? But I'm just here to show you how to kind of replicate this in Premiere Pro. We're not gonna get those kind of liquid distortions that would require After Effects to do that. But because this video is in Premiere Pro, I'm gonna show you a simpler version of it. So in Premiere Pro, I have my text ready. And before we do anything to our text, we first need to add a background. And the reason for that is the glass effect won't be visible if we don't have something behind it. So I have this colorful background ready and let's drop it in the timeline under our text. Let's right click on the text clip and turn it into an adjustment layer. Now the text will disappear for now, but once I add the Gaussian blur effect and bump up the blurriness here, you're gonna start to see the shape of our text. Let's also add a lens distortion effect and increase the curvature just a bit to distort what's under the glass. Down in the timeline, I'll duplicate the clip, right click on it and uncheck adjustment layer. Then we can delete the blur and lens effect from this clip to get back to our solid white text. Now we can scroll down to opacity and lower it to less than 10. And this layer will be our white overlay to make the text more visible. You can also make this layer black. I actually kind of like it darker here. So let's stick to that. Let's duplicate the clip again. And on the third one, let's go to the text properties to disable the fill color and then enable stroke. Let's make the outline super thin and also bump up the opacity so we can see it more clearly. And we'll duplicate it one more time again. And on the top one, let's bring the opacity up to about 50 to 70. And here we can create a circle mask. Let's also bump up the mask feather. And now what we need to do is keyframe the mask path to move from left to right. So what this did is it makes it look like a light is wiping across our glass. We can also use the same technique, but instead of text, we can use it on animating shapes to create a background box for our text like this. So as you can see, it looks pretty good, but it's not as realistic as what you can get inside of After Effects. So if you want a video tutorial on how to create the liquid glass in After Effects, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. So those are all of the text effects. If you wanna take a shortcut and have all of these effects ready to use for you in your timeline, you can join our gal Patreon called the Editing Room, and you can download this entire project file to access all the text effects ready for you to customize in your own projects. If you have any other ideas for titles that you'd love us to recreate on this channel, be sure to leave a comment below. And if you want to learn more text title effects inside of After Effects, you can click right over here. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Woo!